this video we are going to see how to run frame pack on any cloud server right now i am using lighting.ai because in google colab you can't run it it requires more gpu memory for that i need at least 48 gb gpu memory because it required almost 31 to 38 gb i tried it yesterday so i will go with 48 gb and uh, it almost cost you one dollar click on request and if you are using any other cloud services like runport or anything you can follow the same step to run frame pack on any cloud server the output quality is very good you can see we will try it i need to wait for a few seconds to get the gpu okay we got l 40s gpu click on switch so i got this uh, gpu because uh, i have a student account so i got 13 credit free per month otherwise you need to pay for it i will give you this jupyter notebook so you can copy the code first you need to paste this command pwd it will tell you your current directory then you need to copy it and paste it inside this root variable and click on run it will uh, git clone the frame pack repo then it will go inside frame pack then it will install all the requirement packages and pytorch and torch version for CUDA 12.6 then it will clear the screen it will take some time to install all those packages and pytorch and torch version because i ran this code yesterday so already installed in my system that's why it takes only few seconds then we need to run this demo gradio.py files it's inside this frame pack folder that's why we will also copy the pwd current working directory address and uh, paste it here and uh, click on run so next time you can skip this part only you can run it from here that's why we need this root path here too and it will take a huge time to download all those models for the first time and uh, if you want to run it on your windows system it's very easy the developer of this frame pack is a smart guy he just shared a zip file when you extract the zip file you will get the CUDA 12.6 and other files and you will get env.bat, update.bat and run.bat if you click on update.bat it will update it to latest version and you just need to click on run.bat to run the OBY it's super easy on windows just you need a good GPU and uh, here is the OBY you just need to upload an image and an prompt to describe what you want in the video I uploaded this statue image and uh, then I give a prompt to generate a prompt you can use Google Gemini I mean Google AI studio upload the image or video then you can ask Gemini to generate a prompt for you we have some parameter like we have huge TCASE memory that mean uh, the output quality is little bit uh, bad compared to without this CASE memory and uh, then we have number of seed and so you can increase it and total video duration length so by default it will generate five seconds of video you can increase up to 120 seconds that means two minutes of video and uh, step step mean uh, each iteration the sample rate right now it's 25 you can increase it and uh, then we have gpu inference preserve memory larger means slower so you guys can try with this but i will leave it a default mp4 compression lower means quality better if you click zero that means the raw video otherwise you can choose there by default 16 i think and uh, i uploaded the image and here is the prompt okay let me click on uh, uh, start generation here watch my prompt a clump elegant sculpture of a woman dances gracefully with clear movements full of charm here is our gpu uses right now it taking 31 gb and uh, now it started generating the frames so it's generating from end to first 
and total generation frame is 33 so here our GPU max goes up to 34 and here is the final video let me download it first Uh, let me upload another photo i uploaded uh, this photo from uh, their examples and i gave a prompt a happy three year old lives a giant face on a sunny beach and uh, blah 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 right now i will not use this tcasa memory i will uncheck this one and uh, i will make the video duration 10 second and uh, i will uh, do like compression equal to zero that when give me the uncompressed video and uh, click on uh, start generation if you go to their github page they mention that like uh, for this image they first use without TKC memory and uh, here is the output and now they used TKC memory now you can see here what is the problem you see our head is still in the front but he moved his body so you might get this kind of issue when you use the cache memory but it will use less memory and now if i see the gpu use it's on average 31 point something we can say 32 gb right now I don't know why I did wrong but it taking some time let me interrupt the session uh, now I created a run.sh file so will it work so let me first open a terminal if you want one click installation I will give you this run.sh file you just need to upload this sh file on your cloud server like you can drag and drop then you need to type ls so you can confirm that the file is exist on your current directory and then you need to copy this command and paste it here the sh mod plus x run dot sh and run the sh file will it work this is one click installation you just upload your run dot sh file and run the command and you will get your gradio public link i think i need to copy it from here and uh, here you go it's same now i need to close this lighting.ai jupyter notebook otherwise it will charge me money and uh, thank you guys i will see you later